guys, Team BB here. I'm Jane. And I'm Greg. And we've got some random blind boxes today. I mean, the name of the channel is Team BBB. BBB standing for British Blind Boxes or Blind Bags. So we haven't done just a blind box or blind bag video for a while. So a little rummage around the room. Found some of these like, cool new stuff that we got from our trip to London a couple of months ago. But then I found some like really, really old stuff. I mean, the, the discoloration on the box is telling you how old that is. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like... The half coming apartness of some of these things. Some of these things are really, really old. So I thought, why don't I just throw them all into one big blind box video? And let's just get back to our roots of the channel. Right, so this one is really, really old. So this is a Toki Toki, which is still going today. But this is one, they're, one of the first brands they did, which is a little milk carton. And it's absolutely adorable. I love the packaging on these. They're just super, super cute. But yeah, we haven't done a proper just blind box video for a while. I mean, we get yeah. sent, obviously, we get sent the stuff by Kika Goods. But we've got other than the Kika Goods ones, we haven't done our own sort of blind box video for quite some time. So I thought it'd be fun because recently we've been doing quite a few throwbacks, haven't we? Like with the, uh, the Fortnite stuff, or with Star Monsters, and some of the other old school throwback stuff. So we thought we'd carry on the trend and do some old school throwbacks for a while. There's no new toys coming out at the moment, so why not take a trip back down memory lane and have a look at some old stuff that we've have had in the room for a while now? Why not? Let's have a go back and see some cute toys. Look how adorable this is. <laughs> These are all like little cows, like little milk cartons and little cows. They're super adorable. It's even got a little cowbell. It's got a little missing poster on the back. It's so cute. That is see, really this cute. This has just been sitting in the room, just waiting to be opened for ages. <laughs> and now he's here. <laughs> he's I'll go for this little guy. Right, so these are, if I can keep moving the box around, yep. <laughs> these are little kid robots, these are little mini ones, this is a Series 4 one. We did open quite a lot of kid robot stuff when we first started, I don't know if kid robots still about anymore. I think I've seen any kid yeah. robots, I think I have seen some kid robots stuff about, so I think they are still going. So, so this is not anything, I mean look at the discoloration on the glue. <laughs> so that kind of was coming up for 8 years old this October, so yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, we've been around a while. So some of the stuff in this room, we've just been waiting to open for such a long time. He's so cute. <laughs> He's like a little fireman. So, very American fireman. Doesn't really yeah. look like a British fireman. It's just now, we don't know if, I don't think we have the hats. No, I don't know. Uh, is that one? It's a 2 in 25, and his name is FDKO. Okay. <laughs> so, firefighter, maybe. I don't know. I like, I like the robot in bear suit one. That's pretty cute. It's actually some mystery ones as well as a ninja and a mummy. Oh. Really cool. Ninja really cool. cool. I think we got one of these ones before. I think we got this one, the orange yeah. one before. And that one as well. I think we had Southpaw. We definitely had a few of these before. I quite like the Doctor as well. That's pretty cute. But yeah, very cute. Right. Um, and, ew, I don't know. I want to move Star Wars for you, so I'm going to go for the Skybound yeah. minis. Right, see, some of these shows we haven't seen, but some of them we have. So I've never seen The Walking Dead, but I have seen Invincible. Invincible is a very good show. We've also got Horizon, Manifest Destiny, and The Walking Dead, Outcast, Science Dog. That one sounds cool. <laughs> I kind of want to watch that one. That sounds kind of cool. <clears throat> and you've got Birthright, and then some mystery ones. But yeah, I mean, Invincible... Yeah, definitely. Def definitely seen Invincible. Invincible is a really good show on Amazon. Is it on Amazon? Yeah, it's Amazon. Uh, on... Yeah. I'm sure it's Amazon Prime we watch it. Do you have Amazon Prime? Because I do ordering on Amazon all the time. As you guys know, I'm disabled, so I order a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff you see online, like 90% of it is me ordering it online. Occasionally, I might send it to the shops to buy things if I can't find it online. But most of the stuff we get is actually all online. It's like an Blue evil suit. version. Doesn't it? it looks like an evil version yeah. of Mark, doesn't it? <coughs> I don't remember him seeing in Blue Suit. So this is Mark, who's Invincible, the main character in the TV show Invincible. Yeah, that's Mark in a really weird suit. I mean, I know he uh, in different like different dimensions. He turns evil and wears different coloured suits and stuff. So maybe it's just one of those. Yeah. Maybe this is more from the comics, not the actual TV show. Yeah, because you got it. Yeah, because you got him there, but then you got him in his actual outfit. That's his normal one. Yeah. So is that a rarer one then? Uh, that's two in twenty, but in that. Oh, it's question mark. So, question yeah, so it could be a rare so one. So it could be a rare one. Because I've got this one already. Yeah. I've already got that one. I do want Robot. And then I do want this one as well. I want, I want all of the ones from the Invincible series. But I don't think I've got that one. Oh, you've got Evil Robot as well. Right? Evil. Mm. But yeah, because this is question mark. I wonder if that's the real one. Right, so it's stores. Right, so this is a character booster pack. I think you're supposed to play like a card game with these. Uh, you know, like we had the uh, Marvel Battle, is it Battle Balls? Something like that. They were like Funko Pop ones, but you got cards and figures and stuff for a board game. I think this is similar to that, but we just wanted it to see what figures and cards and things you get. So you got all these different bits and bobs inside there. So this is the uh, dark side. So these are bad guys. 
it's an expandable game system. So yes, yeah, so uh, Star Wars Rivals must be some kind of game. Then so it's just an, ex an expansion box for it. So you get more characters and stuff. Yeah, look, sees all the. Oh, so that's the premiere. So, so that's your standard. Oh, it's got Ventures in it. I love Ventures so much. And then you've got to expand your game with these booster packs. You got all these different booster packs. You got good, yeah, dark side ones, those ones, and then you got light side ones. You'll see all the Jedi's and stuff. So then you've got the card games. You put the characters on the cards. You got the deck. It really reminds me of that the, is it the ba battle. They were like balls. The battle something. Battle world maybe. They're really similar to that. But yes, you get the little action cards, location cards. Really, really cool. This is just like a booster box. Who did you get? Oh my Jim god, Grievous. you got my boy. You got my boy, Jim Grievous. <laughs> I love him so much. He's definitely one of my favourite Siths. He is the best. I love him so much. He is best boy. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Yeah, right. Out of all of the ones you can get, I think he is my favourite one. Yeah. You get Palpatine. He's pretty cool. You get Captain Phasma. You get Bob Fett. No, Demi'll give you his best one. Though. He's definitely best boy. And then you get a load of cards. Oh wow, that's a cool card. That's cool. Yeah, we like that. Naboo. Great glass planes, bridge and invisible hand. And yeah, another one. Mm. Another Naboo card, another bridge and invisible hand one. And you get all general grievous cards. Oh, so when you're playing as him, maybe you get with different move cards, perhaps. All these different little special moves. These are really cool cards. They've got a little coffins or something. They're really scary. <laughs> very cool. And then these little markers so he can move along the cards and things. Very, very cool. But this is what I'm in it for. <coughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Right, so this is another one of the things we bought from this mini so place in London. When we went to the Gatchapon place, we also went to this shop as well. We bought a few blind boxes which we still have left open. And this is one of the other ones that we bought. So this is a Disney Villains. We're going to save it for Halloween, but we have got a lot of Halloween stuff ready for Halloween this year. So we're going to treat ourselves to an early Halloween thing. <laughs> um, I'm not sure who I want. I mean, I kind of like Ursula because she's got the Flotsam and Jetsam. They are adorable. But then I kind of... <laughs> this one's really cool as well. But then I kind of like the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> that massive yeah, The smile. Queen of Hearts is also there. But then the evil queen with that sassy... Yeah. That sass face. <laughs> Her face. She's definitely giving face. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's serving us some face with that. Right, so I don't really mind who I get. I just think these are quite cool. But yeah, we did get... Oh, so we've got that whole weight thing in them so you can't weigh the boxes. And then there's a little collector card. These remind me very much of the uh, PG Diz ones as well. I think they would be a little weighted thing in it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that one wasn't in the box. She's at the very front. No. I know she's there. Okay. She's there. I always get Maleficent. Always. Every time we open anything like this, I always seem to get... <coughs> I've got a massive <laughs> Maleficent collection going. I really have. Oh, look, she's got a little. <laughs> That's really cute. I like the little detail of that because I didn't need to put that there because it had just all been purple, couldn't it? And then we go as to cards come to. She can actually take her little staff out. <laughs> cute. Oh, I like her. <laughs> I always seem to get Maleficent. I don't know what it is. I always seem to get always, Maleficent. Always, yeah. Always. always. Right, but Greg's got his Lord of the Rings box. Greg's a bit of a Lord of the Rings fan. We've got a few Lord of the Rings things floating around, but we just never have an opportunity really to open them. So what video do you put them in, you know? So we thought, oh, actually, this is a blind box video. And with the Lord of the Rings um, TV, show. TV show coming out very soon as well, the second season. Yeah. Uh, these figures seem, uh, come with uh, articulations. They're really good figures. They're not just a standard figure. They actually move around a lot. And they can come with different accessories as well. You can get good guys or bad guys. This seems to be from the main Lord of the Rings one. It's not from the new series at all. No. This is just from the uh, the main the main show. But it seems to have accessories, some of them. So I think it depends what character you get. I don't want this one. This is, that's the eye guy, isn't it, this one? So, so that's yeah. A, that's the eye guy. I think he's, he's in the new series, isn't he? <coughs> yeah, but he, he's younger self. Yeah, so I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to seeing him in his younger self. He's the cool one, isn't he? He's the elf guy. Yeah. Pew! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so you got uh, Mo Moria Orc. Moria Orc. Agile and roach like in their scaly armour. This Rod Rod Rodentine Orcs of Moria infest the once proud dwarf city of Moria, looting tombs, fouling its ancient galleries, and claiming its treasures. Sort of. So it's a real bad guy then, this one. Oh, yeah, really. really like a gross great. bad guy listening to that description. <laughs> like a really disgusting one. Yeah. But the fact that it just is a little blind box figure, the fact that it has 13 points for articulation, collector cards, multiple accessories, you know, that's really cool. Because if it's just a little blind box figure, you wouldn't expect it to have that much sort of articulation and accessories and stuff. That's really cool. 
and it actually comes with all that. So I definitely recommend those buying boxes if you like Lords of the Rings. Yeah. That's a good quality figure. It's not just you know standard figure that sits there. Yeah, you can actually pose it and stuff. All right, um, I'm going to have to go for this one. I think down the front here. Right, so yeah. this is the My Mini Mixy Cues. Mixy Cues, I don't even know how to pronounce these. This is series two. We haven't opened these for ages. They're so cute. Do you remember these? Just let us know in the comment cards if you remember these. Because these are totally adorable. They're so cute. I'm so sad that they stopped these. <laughs> I would like to see like millions and millions of series of these. It would have been super cute to see even more of these. They're just so adorable. Look at them all. Look. They're so cute. Right, I think you get two inside the little bag. So uh, let's see who I'm going to get. Who get? Right, good. Oh, right. I've got this one and this one. I've got to figure out whose hair goes on the hair. So this one looks like she's one of the 90s or something with the Coke and the cassette player on her. Yeah. This one looks like she's got a Valentine's Day dress on. I really recognised her. I think we've had these two before. So I'd say the pink hair on her. I think that kind of matches her Valentine's Day look better. And this one, yeah, the headphones. She looks like something out of Stranger Things. <laughs> She's definitely rocking some like eighties or nineties vibes. With the head, the, yeah, with the hair mixtape lover. With the hair plait on the side like that. The overhead headphones. The coat can. Well, I don't know if it's a coat can actually. It might be a tape player. Yeah, I think it's actually a tape player on the hand as well. Yeah. So cute. I really do like the little Valentine's Day one. She looks like she's going on a really nice date for Valentine's Day. Someone's taking her out for a nice meal. She's got dressed up all fancy. <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> They're so cute. Yes, I, can't, I can't find that one, but I found that one. They're so cute. Right, do you want to open up the X Files? X Files. I remember X Files. There's a love for this program. I was a bit young as well for it. When it, when it first came out, anyway. Oh, I'm going to come back. Her out name is again. literally Valentine Girl. <laughs> yeah. Her name is literally just Valentine Girl. Yeah. So who are we going to find? Right, so there are different rarities. You've got like one in 40s. Smoking Man. <laughs> oh, I remember Can you see man. how old this box is? Wait, it's even got dust on the box. <laughs> I apologise. Right, Smoking Man, Lanny, Tombs. Oh, I like that one. Fluke Man. <laughs> I like Fluke Man. He'd be really good for Halloween. I need him. The Mutant Guy. And other characters. Yeah, so you've got Molly's Cards. They're actually the rarer ones. But then you've yeah. got them as normal as well. Langley, Frohike, Byers. But yeah, so it looks like they might come with accessories and posable heads, possibly. So you've got a guy with a bag. Guy with bag. Hey, bag coming out of his heart. Uh, Lanny. Okay. Was it a cluster in my bag? Could be, but it's not in the right place for it. Mm, his name's Lanny. He's a one in 20, so it's quite common. I don't, yeah. I don't ever watch Dex Files, unfortunately. Well, I know who Molly and Skulder are, obviously. But the truth is out there collection. Yeah, so that's Lanny. I don't know who Lanny is, but that is Lanny. Lanny. Well, I'll leave the mini boo boos for you. I'm going for the plushie. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going for the plushie. <laughs> I've knocked over your creepy orc thing. That's quite creepy, actually. It is the creepiest one out. Right. Afternoon tea, cafe, mon... <laughs> momiji. Right. Oh, six surprise plushies. Was there six in here? Is it just six in series one? Okay, I'm getting excited now for six in so <laughs> I don't think I don't think there is. Right, so we got Rini, Gary, <laughs> Ula Larry, Larry, Stan, I like Stan. Stan. Stan's cute. Oh, Stan. Bruno. Jolie. Yeah, I Bruno. like Jolie. Jolie's cute. And then a mystery donut apparently. I don't think there's gonna be six in here, is there? I mean there's six to collect, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I want six in there. Yeah, I want six in here. It's, it's quite a big bag. Uh, there's one, there's one in here. Right, so yeah, uh, so that's the website you can go on to buy some if you want. But yeah, again, this is from that, that same shop again. That's where it's the uh, present from. Yeah, I got the little bunny. <laughs> it's so cute. It's just like a little cup. That's so cute. <laughs> it's so pretty. Look at all the stitching these are very pretty. Little face. Oh, still hands. Okay. Mm. We need to have a chat. <laughs> 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 you know, like your mum telling you off. We need to I, need, I need a cup like that. Mm. <laughs> Not very soft, unfortunately. It's really hard. It's yeah. Quite, yeah, it's really stiff plush. It's not one you could cuddle. It's definitely one you could sit on yourself and it would look absolutely adorable. But it's not it's not a cuddly plushie, and I do prefer a cuddly plushie. Right, so last one from this blind box random video is a series five TY mini boo-boos. These are very cute. I need that one. Hope. I like hope. This You'd hope. Yeah, I need hope. Hope's adorable. Hey, darling. Yeah, man. Darling. Lovely. Darling. Right, did you get... Mind you of um, Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. So 
series five. There's so many series is this? Ooh, what's this one? Um, Stick, shiny. Glamour. 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 Pretty, so pretty, so, so, so pretty. Right, that was really fun to just open a load of random blind boxes. All right, let's talk about our favourites. Uh, it's definitely going to have to be my boy. Yeah. My boy. All these Jedi's come along with two. Oh, the dual wielders are they? Aha! I have four. <laughs> Grievous is best boy. He's, he's the best here. He is. I will not hear anything else about it. General Grievous is the best here. He's, he's definitely cool. underrated as well. He's so cool. As if, as I want if. to see like a whole backstory on him. I yeah. need to know everything about him. How, not, yeah, like from his birth to like how he got to where he is in the films. I need to see yeah. his backstory. I'd love to see that in the film or TV show. Right. I wanted to go with the orc. Because as much as he's creepy, really don't like his face, but I like his sword, shield, armour. Yeah. And I just like Lord of the Rings as well. So. The design is cool. Yeah. It's just, it just makes face a little bit less creepy. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, orcs are creepy. That's, that's, yes, that that's is the idea. It. That's the thing. Right, well, what was your favourite guys? Let us know in the comment section below. And did you enjoy seeing a random blind box video? So a lot of the time we see my videos, obviously, to like Roblox or Minecraft or Genshin Impact, you know, all these different sort of video games that seem to be really popular with you guys, which we also love because we are gamers too. <clears throat> but sometimes it's just fun to just open up a load of random figures like we do in the Kiki Goods videos. So did you enjoy seeing this one? Let us know which one was your favourite and let us know if you want to see any more random figures in the future. Have a great day, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.